Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the straight line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 where a and b are the parameters which are related by the equation a plus b equal to c. As per the procedure, we have to differentiate the given equation with respect to the parameter and eliminate the parameter and that gives us the envelope. Now, there are two parameters which are related by this equation. So, from this, b is nothing but c minus a. So, our equation x by a plus y by b becomes x by a plus y by c minus a equal to 1. We are going to differentiate this with respect to a. So, other than a, the rest are constants. Now, x by a, we have x is a constant and this is 1 by a. It is actually x into 1 by a. So, we are going to differentiate this 1 by a. As per the procedure of differentiation, 1 by x differentiation is minus 1 by x square. It means 1 by a will be minus 1 by a square plus y is a constant. Again, 1 by c minus a will become minus 1 by c minus a whole square and by chain rule differentiation of this will become minus 1 because minus a differentiation is minus 1. C is 0 and the other side we have 1 that becomes 0. So, this becomes minus x by a square and this becomes plus y by c minus a whole square equal to 0. We shall take this term to the other side. So, that gives us minus x by a square equal to minus y by c minus a whole square. We can cancel both the minus sign and we get x by a square equal to y by c minus a whole square. Now, we are going to use a ratio property, but we need like x by a and y by b form so that when we get x by a plus y by b we can replace it with 1. For that I am going to rewrite this x by a square as x by a by a. When we have like this it is like x by a by a means it is like a by 1. So this will become a reciprocal product with the numerator. So, it is finally into 1 by a. So, it basically it is x by a square. So, we have written like this. In the same way, this is y by c minus a by c minus a. We have a ratio property. We can add the numerator parts and write it as a new ratio that is x by a plus y by c minus a. In the same way, we can add the denominator part and write it as a new denominator for this ratio. It is a plus c minus a. Anyway, these gets cancelled. And from this equation, we already know x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So, we replace it b. So, we have x by a plus y by c minus a equal to 1. So, this part becomes 1. And the denominator becomes c. So, this is again x by a square. Only for using the ratio property we split. But again we rewrite it back as x by a square and y by c minus a whole square equal to 1 by c. Because we have to find a and b. But here b is c minus a. And we have to substitute in the equation. So, by equating these two x by a square is equal to 1 by c. So, by cross multiplication, a square is equal to x into c and a will be root xc. In the same way, equating these two terms, we get y by c minus a whole square equal to 1 by c. So, c minus a whole square is equal to y into c and c minus a becomes 
root y into c. So we have to take our first equation which is x by a plus y by c minus a equal to 1. We have to replace this. So x by root x c becomes root x into root c and this becomes sorry plus y by c minus a become root y c which is root y into root c equal to 1. Now by cancelling this root x and x we get root x here and root y and y we get root y here. Now finally we got root x plus root y by common denominator by cross multiplication we get root x plus root y equal to root c. This is our required equation of the envelope.